These might look like a simple set of stairs, but I promise you they are much, much more. Hey guys, welcome back to another episode of Black Magic Craft. This week, I'm building something that I think could drastically change your life as a crafting DM. It all started a couple weeks ago when a guy named Kurt, one of my Patreon supporters and a member of the Black Magic Craft Fellowship, posted a picture on Facebook of some dungeon tile stairs that he had built to integrate with my three x three dungeon tile system. And he posted a picture of those stairs stacked on top of each other to form a cube. At first I thought, hey, that's cool. These will store really neatly and you can use them as a block. It wasn't until a few days later where that photo popped back into my mind and I had a eureka moment. I realized that if I were to take that concept of two stairs that stacked together to create a cube and I really refined the idea and got the sizing and form factor right with a focus on versatility, all of a sudden I could have a bit of terrain that could instantly be used for dozens and dozens of different things. They could be castle walls, city gates, guard towers, watch towers, pyramids, ancient temples, ruins. It was unbelievable. They weren't just stairs, but they did create also a system where I could make a multitude of different stair layouts and different heights, and it was really amazing. Before we jump into the build, because the build is fairly easy, it's the concept that's important, just sit back and take a look at how versatile and fun these things are. And keep in mind, this is just a handful of things. The more you play with these, the more things you will find out you are able to create with them. You gotta admit, these things, as simple as they are, are pretty incredible. You are able to create so many different possible 
table setups, you will get a lot of mileage out of these. Now, how about building them? All you need is a bit of half inch XPS insulation foam, a knife and a ruler and a glue gun. That's it. Go nuts. Make as many as you possibly can. I can't encourage that enough. As many as you can make, that's as many as you should make. And you're going to want more because the more of these you have, the more elaborate things you can build with them. Let's build some friggin' dungeon stackers. To start, you need a whole bunch of these blocks that are all two inches wide in various lengths. You need some three inch ones, some two inch ones, and some one inch ones. These stackers come in two sizes, three step and two step. And I recommend building twice as many three step ones as two step ones. When prototyping these, I tested out a few different texture patterns. At first, I tried doing them in a one inch grid, similar to the dungeon tiles, but I honestly didn't really like the look of the lines down the side. And overall, I just didn't really like it. I also made one prototype using my brick textured rolling pin from Green Stuff World, but I actually realized that that added work wasn't really necessary. And in the end, I preferred the aesthetic of just big chunks of stone. It made them more generic and more versatile in my opinion, but you can decorate these up however you would like. Keeping these simple meant that the only kind of carving and texturing I needed to do was to take my knife and bevel all of the edges and break out a few chunks and then take my tinfoil and roll it around the whole thing. It's important that you hit all edges, including the bottom of these pieces, since they will be used in ways where you will sometimes see the top, sometimes see the side, and sometimes see the bottom. Assembling these things is incredibly easy. All you need to do is hot glue them together. Just be careful that all of your edges remain flush, especially the backside of the three layers, because if they've kind of shifted and aren't lined up well, then these things won't stack nicely together. After assembly, it's time for the Black Magic Craft base coat, which is the Mod Podge and black paint combo. And this is more important than usual because these pieces will kind of get abused a bit during gameplay. Paint these up however you'd like to match your dungeon. I opted for a three-tone gray pattern followed by a sponge stippling of a tan and burnt sienna. I finished it up with a dry brushing of an off-white. Now this is where things get a little bit complicated. I needed to apply a black wash to all sides and while gravity was doing its work dripping off, I needed to make sure that it didn't pool underneath and stick to the cardboard. So I decided to use some little push pins to elevate the pieces up off the table to allow the wash to drip down and for gravity to do its work so that I would be left with pieces that looked good all the way around. There you go guys, a super simple build, but I think a very awesome concept. If you found this video useful, hit that like button and drop me a comment below. If this is your first time watching Black Magic Craft, hit that subscribe button and check out my catalog of videos. I got a ton of awesome videos about crafting stuff for your game. Kurt, I have to thank you for inspiring me to create this project, but also for your support on Patreon. For those of you watching, if you want to help this channel out, help it succeed, and become a member of a great community of like-minded crafters and DMs, consider supporting Black Magic Craft on Patreon and joining the Black Magic Craft Fellowship. That support helps out me, this channel, and my family in a monumental way, and slowly that support is helping me to achieve my long-term goal of making Black Magic Craft a full-time effort so I can better serve this community. Another great way you can help the channel out while helping yourself is by heading over to blackmagiccraft.ca. There you will find my essential equipment store where I list all of the tools and supplies that I use in my builds so you can buy the right stuff, the good stuff, through Amazon, shipped to your door, and in the process, give the channel a small commission, which will help fund future videos. I'm really looking forward to seeing everybody building a set of their own dungeon stackers and posting them in the fellowship, in the Tabletop Crafters Guild, and what other parts of the internet you may haunt. I hope they bring you lots of excitement and joy in your next game. And on that note, guys, cheers, happy crafting. I'll see you again next week.